Hi there folks in cyberspace land, I'm Rock Reynolds with fiddle lesson number two. Two shuffles and a G scale. It comes from Flop Eared Mule and this is an exercise I do a lot. And here's our goal. This shuffle, this shuffle, G scale. Put those together, try to do those smooth, that's a good exercise. A word about the hillbilly beat. We're going to put more volume on notes two and four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But the important notes are the one and three notes. The non louder notes, <laughs> the softer notes. They're the notes that define the song. Those are the most important notes. So we're coming up with a bowing mechanism that stays nice and calm. We're going to use the arm for the longer beats and then, we're, which is the calm notes, that's the one and three notes, then for the two and four to get the emphasis, we we'll just flip the wrist. Boom, boom. Do, boom, 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 boom. Keeping the arm nice and calm. Like I said in the lesson, the key here is upper wrist to shoulder all the time. So let's get started. I get a nice calm posture. I don't feel much here anymore. I give all the command to my right arm. Why feel a beat in my body when I can just give that beat, give that command to the right arm? The right arm's going to be doing everything. So like I said in lesson number one, here's the commander right here, this, uh, this ring finger. It's going to squeeze this bow, and that's the only that's the only muscle that's squeezing right now. Well, these these two muscles are squeezing. Then the thumb and the forefinger kind of react to that. And to go through this exercise, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one bow stroke at a time. Then I'm going to stop. And for now, I'm going to squeeze too hard, so we can get the bow movements exact. Right now, I'm more interested in getting the bow movements exact than I am in getting them smooth. Once we get them exact, then we'll get them smooth. The first two notes. Squeeze down with the ring finger. Keep that surface flat. I put the, uh, go one note, whole note up on the A string and a half note above that. For the G double stop. And the first note is this. First, I'm going to squeeze once again with my ring finger, and I'm going to place the bow down, and I'm going to stop it. I'm not even going to move it. There. I'm pressing down hard enough, so I'm not even, I'm not even moving it now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move my four, I'm going to move my elbow out just a little bit, and I'm going to stop it. That's note number one. Try that again. Squeezing with my ring finger. I'm, I'm squeezing a little too tight now. But all I'm going to do is just move my one muscle, just my elbow, just a little bit. There's note number one, and I'm stopped. Notes number two and three are the shuffle, and I'm just going to flip my wrist for this. Okay, so here's the first three notes again. Squeezing with my ring finger. Note number one with the arm, then two and three with the wrist. The next note, I have to raise the arm up. I'm going to put the, my third finger on the G string there. I got to get the right geometry. And I'm bringing the wrist back towards the shoulder. And I'm, I'm still squeezing with my, with my ring finger. And I'm just going to aim my wrist back towards my shoulder just a little bit. Next two notes. Just flip the wrist. Here's the killer, going down to the G string. My arm has to raise way up for the G string. I'm getting ready for my run here. The hand is going to turn out when I start when I start the G run. I just Expand the elbow along that same plane, that same shoulder to elbow plane. Stop there. Next two notes, flip the wrist. 
Bring the arm back down. Wrist, upper wrist towards the shoulder. Flip the wrist. Let's do the whole thing again. Came squeezing with my ring finger and my little pinky here. Got these contact points. First movement, first movement, expand the arm. Flip the wrist twice. Lift the arm up. Change the change the finger. Just contract the arm in. Flip the wrist twice. Lift the arm up. Expand it for the first two notes. Flip your wrist. Bring your arm back down. Back in. Flip your wrist twice. After you get that, keep this tight grip on the bow and try to smooth things out then. Keep it slow. If you can do that, you can do anything else I'm putting on YouTube these days. It's been a pleasure serving your fiddle educational needs. I'm Rock Reynolds. Wrap with you later.